Aries, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an overall general energy reading for my Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Aries, I trust that when this message finds you, it is your message at that time. All of my readings are timeless. Hmm. Aries, I hope this message finds you while you are in good health and good well. Let's see what spirit has for you. Step into the unknown on the split. Hmm. New beginning is on the horizon, Aries, or you're being asked to trust a new beginning that is in front of you or unfolding before your eyes now in your reality. Spirit, what does Aries need to know, be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. Break addiction. Mm. Aries, there could be something that you know has been there for a while you know and it has to do with a habit a way of thinking a way of treating yourself a way of treating others that has become so repetitive in your life the cycle of it um that is starting to cause some type of discomfort havoc or destruction and i think you have known about it for a while like i said but also known that it's time to enter this new reality step into that unknown on the bottom of the deck we have show self-respect so some areas out there could be dealing with you know you might be in a relationship and your partner you and your partner have been together for a while or not but either way they start disrespecting you in some way shape or form in a way that You've made it clear that this boundary exists and they continue to cross that boundary and you keep staying with them. They keep saying they'll change, but you keep staying with them, seeing that they're not changing. This could be an addiction that you have, an addiction, some type of codependent addiction, or it could be vice versa. You letting, you, you know, disrespecting someone else on repeat, or this could just be like drugs, alcohol, any type of addiction really. But your advice from spirit is show some self-respect. So what, however this is resonating for you, whatever you are addicted to, people, places, things, even just like not being kind to yourself, you know, not being compassionate with yourself and gentle with yourself. That could be something like a habit, a chain that you need to break, a cycle that you need to get yourself out of. In the center, we have listened to your guardian angel. So, you know, really listen to your higher self. Tap into that divine realm that is within you, Aries. And, um... Yeah, connect with something higher than yourself to seek these answers to problems that we think we know the answers to, but we really don't. And to end this, we have release fear. So although this might have been in your life for a while, Aries, it might be time to start actually breaking down those barriers and walls of fear that you keep up. Because when you keep those up, you stay in the addiction, Aries. Why are you scared to let go of that thing, you know? why are why does this thing keep happening why is that fear there to even start with you know get to the root of things because at the end of the day that is showing self-respect taking care of yourself and like unlearning all of our bad habits absolutely thank you spirit all right let's see what the tarot got to say hey breeze what you addicted to we all got them. We all got some type of addiction, whether we say so or not. I see the two of pentacles and the baby, baby little tarot bowl. I also see the six of wands. So you might be struggling to make a decision, but you're going to be absolutely victorious in the fact that you will make a decision and the decision will be the best decision for you, Aries. Because I know it. I know it, Aries. Because we got the King of Pentacles. I'm not taking those. We got the King of Pentacles in the middle of your reading. So whatever decision you make, Aries, Eight of Swords, reverse on the bottom, it breaks you out of these chains, you know? It breaks you free from the chains. And now you are able to start rebuilding your reality and crafting it exactly how you want it to be, Aries. You are now abundant enough after breaking this addiction to start your reading with the eight of wands this is moving away from something some place someone so after you break this addiction aries you could be dealing with the fire another fire sign um you move on to 
<laughs> actually really a lot of good things so many abundant things because the king of pentacles and now the ace of swords you know there's a, it's like you're you're seeing life through new eyes and you really are because you took the blindfold off you chose to you chose to see the truth about someone you chose to see the truth about yourself aries mm. and after you do that it's just Mm, you're going to be wondering why you ever even kept the blindfold on for so long. Why you were so reluctant to, you know, step into the unknown and trust spirit and just allow this new reality to unfold before your eyes. The reason why was because of this fear, but you started handling that. You started breaking those walls down or you will be soon because you're now aware of it. The seed has been planted and harvest day is coming. Spirits is spirit has your back. This is right over or under guardian angel, you know? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So once you move on from this addiction, however you see it, it's crazy too. Look at this card. There's a girl. She has like this little bird hatching out of the egg, and then all of these birds, spirit. Cause then that flows right into listen to your guardian angel, and they both have this little like freaking heart of gold you know and then we have the ace of uh swords and release fear i feel like that is just all flowing together way too well right now aries this is some areas out there the moment that you break this addiction the moment that you release this thing see this truth release this fear everything you mm, life's gonna get good you know you're gonna have more than enough in all aspects like emotionally your cup will be full you will feel you will feel like your partner is a reflection of you you will be well taken care of by the universe and the people around you in your life but th th that can't happen that reality cannot happen if we don't let go of the things that we need to let go of when it's time to let go of them you know sometimes it could be like you just need to be alone for a little bit you know the people in your life are currently not treating you well or you're just not vibrating with them at the same level as you once did and sometimes you might need to like separate yourself and do some do some um you know put yourself under the magnifying glass to craft to to figure out what kind of reality you want because the life of our dreams can't it can't manifest if we don't know what it is if we don't know what the life of our dreams is if we haven't decided you know so you have to set your intention you have to have a reason to break this addiction you know you need something to motivate you to break it and if you already know what that is then it's time to listen to your guardian angel card number 19 reduces to 10 that is a cycle completion it's time you've completed this cycle of addiction it's time for a new cycle of abundance joy love compassion self-respect it's time to take that blindfold off with this eight of swords reverse aries mm -mm -mm. i like that mm. what else we got i'm gonna clarify spirit please clarify for me <clears throat> eight of wands this is a good reading aries you know there's something in your life that is just it's been it's been bugging you for a while. You've know, you've known it's been a problem. You know it's becoming a problem maybe. It has to do with your respect. The, the the fact that this thing keeps on going on and show yourself respect is right there. Um I feel like it's either because you're not doing something about it is that's disrespect to yourself or other people are just disrespecting you in some way, shape, or form, other other situations, you know? And so now it's time to release this fear, trust spirit, step into the unknown, into this new beginning, and become more abundant than ever. And it doesn't even, it might not even be reflected in financial abundance per se. Like, this could just be, like, straight up emotional, like, love, like, just internal abundance, you know? Internal abundance that is really priceless truly truly but first you oh my god under that the devil but first you have to make this decision aries with the devil and the two of pentacles 
you have to make the decision to release this devil from your life. You know? It's up to you. And it very well could be about a person. You know, you see like the two, the duality in that. It's up to you though. Spirit clarify, eight of wands for Aries. Page of pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this is you getting. <laughs> hmm. This is you getting all the information that you need before you take this step, this big step to break this addiction, to leave this thing. Under that, we have the Empress and the Magician and the Four of Pentacles. Mm. And the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're ready. Okay, hell yeah. And the Hierophant. Okay. Well, we did have the Hierophant under this too, but I won't speak on that. So we have the Page of Pentacles clarifying the Eight of Wands. Aries, you're making sure that you are properly informed, properly aware of why you're breaking this addiction, where you're going next, like what is the purpose, what is the reason, why did I let this happen so long, why did you let it go on for so long, I feel like this is you getting those type of, mm, those type of downloads from spirit. I feel like those type of answers are going to be coming in and you are ready now to let go of with the six of swords of what you've been holding on to for so so long you're ready to let go of what you've been holding on to for so long with the uh, four of pentacles you know but because of that that's what has you in this energy of, of like okay i need to i need to know why i was even holding on to this for so long i need to know or if you don't want to let go of it you need to know why you're letting go of it you know and that's good though because sometimes when we're making decisions in life especially with when it has to do with some type of devil energy attached to it like decisions like these are they're big decisions so before you make them you want to make sure you know what decision you're making then we have the magician and the empress right here and this tells me aries that whatever decision you choose to make is going to be the right decision because you're going to make that decision from your heart. It's going to be a decision that is like, it does show self-respect. Um, and you now are feeling very empowered. I think when you release this, you're going to feel so empowered with this magician energy, you know, like you now have all of the answers that you were seeking. You have all the tools that you need in order to manifest um this reality that you have been seeking it's on the bottom mm -hmm, mm -hmm. clarifying the king of pentacles we have the moon in reverse i feel like you're just feeling very enlightened aries i feel like once you release and you understand why you're releasing and then choose to i think um you're going to be enlightened in a way that is going to be so satisfying to you and your experience. All of these cards have some type of, down the middle, they have some type of illuminating factor, you know? Like he has the pentacle, the, the sun right here, and then the moon. Mm. Piscean energy. We also have Virgo energy. Hmm. but it was in reverse that's what i'm saying it's like there's no more secrets about that are being kept from you or you're not keeping no more secrets with and from yourself about the reality of what this addiction is for you you know it could quite literally be addiction or it could be like just a metaphor for something that you are heavily attached to and have been for a while but the truth is coming to light especially moving forward we have the ace of swords this is groundbreaking truth. This is like groundbreaking understanding. This is a de message delivered straight from spirit. And clarifying that, we have the seven of cups, you know? So you there, now, you have, now you see just how many options you really had this whole time. You were never really bound by this thing. It was just, it was what you were made to believe by that thing or just a lie that you told yourself so that you could 
because you grew com comfortable with it. But now so many more options are opening up for you, Aries, about where to go next, what to do next. And you have, every, you have everything you need to do it. You will, or you do right now. And so the world is really yours, Aries. The world is really yours. Thank you.